Hey, good morning, everybody. Today, we're in the second half of Romans chapter 7, and this might be the quintessential passage in all of Scripture that illustrates it so realistically our struggle with sin as human beings. I just want to read a couple verses of it for you and encourage you to read the whole section yourself. Verse 14 says, So the trouble is not with the law, for it is spiritual and good. The trouble is with me, for I am all too human, a slave to sin. I don't really understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I don't do it. Instead, I do what I hate, but I know what I am doing is wrong, and this shows that I agree that the law is good. So I am not the one doing it, doing it wrong. It is sin living in me that does it. it actually, it's kind of hard for us to read it. But think about this. Read the whole section because it's always helpful to me that this is the Apostle Paul writing this, and he's responsible for a whole huge portion of the New Testament. Remember how he faced shipwrecks and imprisonment and hunger and beatings and people who were trying to kill him, not to mention all the intellectual debates and discussions that he had. And ultimately, of course, he was beheaded for proclaiming the gospel. And yet, he persevered through so many other obstacles as he persevered in sharing the good news of Jesus. And so we would think that he was the most confident of all confident people, so strong in the power of the Holy Spirit, and, and he was. But that does not mean that he not, did not struggle with sin because it's a part of all of our human condition. We struggle with sin that lives in all of us, and we battle it every day. So I want us to hear the ending of this, uh, where it's going to be a short devotion today, but it's going to be powerful. It says, verse 24, Oh, what a miserable person am I! Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God the answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. So you see how it is. In my mind, I really want to obey God's law, but because of my sinful nature, I am a slave to sin. And then I have to cheat and read a couple of verses from the next chapter too. Chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. It says, so now there is no condemnation. Did you hear that? No condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. May we live in this promise that, that though life can be a struggle, God does not condemn us because we belong to him completely and he loves us powerfully. And we are free to reject the power of sin that leads to death. And we get to choose to listen to the voice of truth, the, the voice of the Holy Spirit who leads to, his, to the life that he wants us to have. May God bless your day and may he lead you to all goodness and, and, and may you live in the power of the Holy Spirit today. Have a great day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.